welcome to the first ever Pop Talks. It's kind of like just going to be random things, just me talking about stuff. And besides, the first episode should be me talking about Toys R Us. Yes, today is the last op- day of operation for the, sto- for, the, for the store chain in the United States. And yeah, you'll hear me talking and stuttering because this is unedited. So, Toys R Us, a toy company that used to be great and slowly died out through the years because of them overcharging. So, what my memories of Toys R Us? Well, my first memory of Toys R Us is when I was really young. I skipped school to do something for my doctor's appointment, and my dad took me to Toys R Us to walk around, and it was for... Uh, it was like these kind of store... It was for these, and I saw these. This was back when uh, Alien Rangers was still on TV. This hadn't come out yet, and I thought it was new. So I got the green one, thinking that it was Tommy, and because the colors hadn't changed yet, and there wasn't a white one, that's the one I got. And then I started. Then I didn't go really go to Toys R Us very much because I was doing even back then, Walmart, Tar- Target, or. I would get them if I saw them someplace. We didn't really go there very often until Pokemon League started. And this was a place where you went and played the card games and the video games. And you got points to get... These are the little badges that everybody sees or you see around all the time. If you weren't in them, this is what it comes from. That's why it says Pokemon League on it. And my local one did the first season, or Kanto, stopped... And then they did the second season for Johto. They put a big ad out. It was in the papers. This was, this was the ad and all that for when the movie 2000 came out. And that's what these badges were. But my local Toys R Us stopped right at the uh, Ghost Gym Morty. They stopped for no reason. They stopped getting the badges. They told us all they'll come back. We went back the next weekend, and it was just, okay, you get to walk around Toys R Us. And one of my memories of actually being at Toys R Us in the Pokemon League was I didn't play very much. I was losing a lot. And I decided to just walk around the store. But this was back when video games weren't that expensive. And they were throwing them on sale. And I only had Pokemon Red. And I saw that they were set, they were clearancing out the original Pokemon games. Because Gold and Silver had already come out. <clears throat> So I went and got blue version for four dollars. I still had the box. It had a little sticker on it, four dollars on it. And then I, that's when I started getting all the games. That's all because of Toys R Us. I originally I was just gonna only have one version of each one. Because then later on, after I beat blue, I went back and got silver. Because at that point, I only had I already had red and yellow. And the standing of Pokemon Leagues and Pokemon to begin with stayed at Toys R Us all the way until the end because they started doing these card things. I'm betting if the Pokemon League was being held at the certain Toys R Us, that's where these things were handed out. And now they're closed. They're not going to be anymore, at least in America, where I live. And I went there a few times and got a few things on clearance. I went to a couple different stores. Not the ones on the left here, because that was toys. That's Target, obviously. Well, it was like under a hundred bucks, and and during the clearance section, I was buying stuff that I didn't even think I would want, just because it had the label on it, like Fraggle Rock. I don't even like the series, but I got it because it's a dog and it has a Toys R Us logo on it. So one of my first memories of ever going to Toys R Us was for a Power Ranger, and my last memories will be getting a Power Ranger. This, these are some of the last things I bought at Toys R Us. The movie Power Rangers. They didn't have the pink and the yellow one for some reason. Just the um, boys were there. And now the stores are gone, just like my other stores I used to love going to when I was younger. Blockbuster, Circuit City. Because I used to go to stores and just walk, like, I, like I do now. I like to go to stores and just walk around. It's my version of people watching. But you also get exercise when you do it. So, as the picture says, I guess everybody has grown up. There are no toys around.
I guess everyone has grown up. There are no more Toys R Us kids. And they did someone did a little funny picture of Jeffrey, like going on vacation. Yeah, he's going up to the frozen north. He's not going to Hawaii or someplace tropical to retire. He's gonna go freeze his nuts off up in Canada. And someone did a really nice video picture up there at their Toys R Us of all the toys like waving goodbye to the store. Which was a nice way to end it off, nice way to celebrate the ending of a series, the ending of a error. There are no more Toys R Us's. Hell, there are no more toy stores. It'd be at least big ones or else like mom and pop shops. But mom and pop shops are guilty of the same thing Toys R Us is. Scalping the prices, putting them up. You could get a figure for ten bucks at Walmart and it was like thirteen at Toys R Us for no reason. Hell, when everybody was get dumping the Star Wars toys and no one wanted, Toys R Us still had them at a regular price. I went to Toys R Us mainly just at the, towards the end just for exclusives. I barely ever went there. It was like, I don't know, once every like four months towards the end. And yeah, that's my uh, thoughts about the closing of Toys R Us. It's, uh, I always had the memories of youth going there and having the magical experience of being able to see all those toys and everything is it's it is magical for a child to see all that stuff because it's a child's playland i was lucky enough to have toys r us fao swartz uh kb toys all those different things and then they slowly died due to technology people not wanting toys anymore price going up internet all those different things So, yeah, this was the first episode of Pop Talk. It's not really going to be about Funko Pops, just pop because of the, because of the show Random Pop, this YouTube name. Um, maybe in the future I'll do one so with the, cameras, the camera on facing, but I figured I'd end it with, uh, you know, this. Because, you know, it's not like a huge deal. It's like, I got really upset about Blockbuster closing because I used to get all my physical media from there. I wouldn't buy anything unless it was at Blockbuster. I'd wait till the, uh, like, 5 for 10 sale they did used to do, or 4 for 20 when it came to Blu-rays. You get all the movies, because even if they're scratched, you can take them back and get another one. Uh, I did buy a few things that Toys R Us's logo on it just because it had the logo on it. So, thanks for listening, and tell us in the comments what you thought, what your memories of Toys R Us going to be. Have a good one.